what is happening YouTube right today we're going to try something different solo video garage of dreams on the asbo to be honest I finished the job but this is the beginning of the video wear that one out as you saw from the last track video we had to take an early bath because the brake pads were very low on this rookie mistake from me I did not check them or bring spares so I have new parts I ordered the MTech silver C hook brake discs but they didn't have them in stock so we have black drilled and grooved front and back discs PBS Pro race front pads OEM rear pads and we have brought an upgrade package so when we're braking hard in the corners because of this ridiculous ride out here the back end gets a bit twitchy it's a little bit sketchy so this which i'm going to unbox in a minute will hopefully improve our track times and improve our handling look how fast i'm unboxing this it looks like time lapse but it's not i'm just absolutely rapid right so here we have the upgrades bcrms 30 click damper adjustments ride height adjustments camber adjustments these are some spicy coilovers i'm looking forward to seeing how these handle on track look at the size of these murdered out brake discs i think like 268 mil them bad boys and look at these puny little rare ones if i don't get under two minutes now at alton park i'm i'm giving up i, I genuinely am right let's get this car jacked up get these discs pads rear dampers and these springs in I'll probably put these springs on Facebook Marketplace I think I've done about four track days with them not much road use I think the H&R 35mm lowering springs but if anyone wants them, give us a shout in the comments. And while we're on the subject, drop a comment down below. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, you know the score. This is what they call a divorce setup. So the springs sit inboard. It's not a true coil over. So as you can see, the damper is separate to the spring. I've removed my um, power flex spring isolators because the BC came with their own um, rubbers top and bottom. Okay, on to the next side. One down, three to go. If you work on cars and you've not got this tool, then you need to invest. This is for pushing the piston back into the uh, rear caliper. Once the piston's pushed back, a little bit of copper slip, caliper back on, tighten it up, and Robert's your mother's brother. Right, rears are on. Lovely ride height there. Couple of fingers. Preload is done, all the damping settings are set to halfway, brakes are on. Just gotta let these settle. Once it's all settled we can uh we can adjust the ride height all around and get it all equal and do what we gotta do. <laughs> Let's move on to the front. These dampers are surprisingly easy to get off. 
I was running camber bolts on this, but I'm going to get rid of them and just use the camber plate at the top. These discs are the wrong ones. No wonder it looks so bloody big. I think these are off a Ford Ranger. As you can see, they've got um, five holes, whereas I've only got four studs on mine. So I've spoke to Sam at Rival Motorsport where he ordered these from. He's checked my order. My order was right. He's placed the order right. They've just been sent out wrong by MTech. So we're going to get these posted back and hopefully MTech are going to send out the right discs. But you know what? It happens. As long as it gets resolved, everyone's happy. Right, okay. Wheels back off. Little sandwich bag trick there. Tape that up for the uh, brake line stop that from dripping caliper is off and the reason being let me see if i can do this one handed Swing. push that out and this is absolutely shot you can see that seals melted so, got a seal kit on the way. We'll get that swapped out, get these cleaned up. Right, again, going to try and do this one handed for you. Ah, nice and easy. So, seal out. Look at that. Absolutely melted. Let's get this cleaned up. Right, I'll just give these a proper good spruce. Um, I'm not going to go war and peace on these because I do want to upgrade them to the um, RS Megan or the Clio Sport 197 Brembo calipers. I can put the SC170 300mm um, discs on with a small adapter and run those. But for now, we'll get the uh, seal kit delivered and Put these back together and i will be using these for cadwell in june then i might just refer my spares in the future okay with the magic of youtube seal kit is here i'm just going to strategically place that there in case the uh, motor wants to sponsor us i've got some rbf 600 brake fluid seal kit let's get this together get the caliper in Wait for the pads, which should be here later on in the week, and then road test. Well, let's do this. Use a little bit of brake fluid to lube up these seals. Put a bit in there actually. There you go. Again, strategically placed. Put my phone on silent. That's the baguettes uh, WhatsApp in me. Seeing what I'm up to. Right. A little bit of fluid in there. Let's see if I can get that in. Lovely jubbly. Next one.
seal in. This is where it's important then to lube this with a bit of brake fluid. This is where we're going to try and get it round the piston. Bring that a bit closer. And get the air hose set up. Lovely stuff, like a glove. Right, let's get this fitted. I haven't got my axle stand, so if I only can do one side at a time, I've got it jacked up, so I'll be back. Right, I'm gonna swap these over. Bitto assembly grease. Lovely cranberry sauce. Lovely stuff. Nice. Right, I've already got the copper grease on this because I've already had these on. I need to go back a bit more. Right in there. Straight on. See how much brake fluid we collected. Nothing, it's not even dripped. I do want to flush all that brake fluid. Put the motor stuff in. Motor, if you're listening. Still looking for sponsors. We're averaging about 500 views per video, so we can, uh, you know, your sponsor will reach 500 people. 
we just want a bit of free brake fluid now and again we're not asking for much this is a banjo bolt you can see it's got a little hole in the middle so fluid comes in through here and out through there copper washer on each side Fourteen mil. There we go. FT. Bloody good and mate. Just got a wheel on. On to the next side. I've got to get all this back off again to swap the brakes. The discs, sorry. So and to bleed bleed the brakes as well. Like I say, I can only do one, one at a time because I've got my axle stands. They are currently being used by one of the other project cars. Okay, dogger. FT. Dugga. FC. Talk them up later. Right. There's no point in me filming both both sides. <coughs> um, but we like this bit, so I'll do this one twice. Pwing! Right, again, don't want to film too much of me doing it twice. But just in case something good happens and it makes the edit. In case you didn't see it very well the first time. Because I don't know how this looks on camera. Sealing. So this seal is the one that really works with the piston when the piston's going back and forth and keeps the fluid in. This one's more of a dust shield. So this is the one that needs to be nice and lubed first. Just in case you're watching, you do want to sponsor us. And we're obviously not serious. But you never know. Okay, let's try again. Like a glove, 
First time, every time. Okay, so this is not a how-to video. We are amateur hobbyists at best, but you might have just picked up on the last clip. When I put these on, you have to make sure that the rubber goes over there. And it's the same on the caliper. When this bit goes into the caliper, it sits over that little lip. So I'll have to go back and just make sure that's done on the, on the one I've done already. Quickly just want to show you these tyres, you can see on this side it's very worn, which is basically I'm running too much camber, so obviously with these top mounts now I can adjust the camber, take it in a little bit, nice even wear over this, and again better track times, more grip, Bosh. Right so we're back here at the beginning, but at the end, it's crazy this YouTube stuff, um, I hope you enjoyed that one, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, tell your mum, tell your nan, 